Welcome back. Today, I figured let's bring back some food Fridays. They won't be every Friday, but I'm just, I'm making something and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Today I'm making some homemade granola. There's a lot of granola options in the store. However, a lot of them have a lot of extra ingredients in them that aren't necessary. Sorry, squeaky floor. So today, I just thought I'd share with you my version of homemade granola. And I can share the recipe with you below. I found it on Pinterest. I have modified it a little bit and I will walk you through um, how I do it and um, some of the modifications that I've made to it for us and my family enjoys it. So let's, let's make some granola. All right, so I got all of the ingredients that I use over here. I'm gonna try and make this not awkward with you not seeing my face. But make sure you have your handy dandy coffee, tea, what have you nearby for quick little sips as you are doing your granola making. So you want to preheat your oven to 375 and have a 9 by 13 baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Hey Titus. Hi good boy. So first off, we need three cups of oats. Whatever type of oats you prefer to use, these are, um, for us, these are gluten-free oats, um, but you can use instant oats, steel cut oats, whatever kind of oats that you prefer. You need three cups Also, I should add, you need a nice big bowl to mix it all in. And I just happen to have three cups in here. Perfect. Okay. Next, we need half a cup of some type of oil. You can choose to use I'm using uh, coconut oil, cold pressed, unrefined. Got this at Costco. This is like the best deal I've ever found for for coconut oil. I don't. I think it was ten dollars. Since I do not have a microwave, I put it in a bowl and melted it. So it's liquefied. You want it liquefied. Whatever you use, you can use olive oil whatever kind of oil you want. You can use butter, but I am using the coconut oil. Then we just drizzle it on over. So then next, you need to put a sweetener in the oats and, um, and oil. Now you can use whatever sweetener you want to. You, if you want to use brown sugar, honey, agave, uh, maple syrup, whatever your sweetener of choice is. Today I am just using Kirkland maple syrup. And again, I'm using half a cup. I'm not using honey because I like to put honey on as a drizzle on top when I use my yogurt. And next, I drizzle in some vanilla. This is homemade vanilla. I can put a recipe for that below as well. It's literally just vodka and vanilla beans. And I get my vanilla whole vanilla beans off of Amazon and I can link that below as well. I use two tablespoons because I like more vanilla-y 
flavored granola. Then I'm using some cinnamon. Do you see a theme here? Costco. And the cinnamon, I just kind of sprinkle over so it's I don't like overpowering cinnamon, but I like a hint of cinnamon. Next, I put in some uh, ground flax seed for digestion. So the flax, the ground flax, I usually put in two to three tablespoons. It doesn't alter the flavor at all. It just adds a little bit extra element. Then I also put in some uh, coconut flakes. You can use sweetened, unsweetened. All I could find recently when I was grocery shopping was sweetened, unfortunately. Um, so I usually eyeball it to a third to half a cup. Next, this time I'm going to put in some, I think they're called pepitas, but pumpkin kernels, so the inside. And again, a third to half cup. A little more, if you want. I'm going to use some sliced almonds. So I am probably just going to throw the rest of this bag in there. Again, what is that? Probably, of course I have a half cup sitting over here. So, um, yeah, that's probably three quarters of a cup. But you can put whatever you would prefer in there. So then you grab your handy dandy spoon. I'm using a wooden spoon and we start stirring. You just want to get it nice and coated. Pretty good to me. Go ahead and dump it on the baking sheet. Then you just want to spread it out into a fairly even layer. If I had two baking sheets, I would use two baking sheets, but alas, I only have one 9 by 13 baking sheet. So, that's okay. And now, we put it in the oven. And we leave it in the oven for about 10 minutes and we stir it occasionally, making sure it doesn't burn. And I think that, and to me, granola is just really versatile. You can have it in milk, almond milk, like as cereal, you can put it on yogurt, whatever kind of yogurt you want, whatever your preference is, or you can just snack on it. Lots of options. <laughs> so when it's done, you want it to look nice and golden brown. Let it cool all the way down and then you can store it in an airtight container. So that's just a really nice, quick and easy granola. Um, modify it as you want. Again, the recipe is below, as well as um, the homemade vanilla recipe and the links that I mentioned before. If you enjoy the Food Friday, give this video a thumbs up and we will do some more. We'll see you around next time, guys. Bye.